Kulira from the Fountain Pen Guide back with another informative video. Now in this video we are going to speak about a very important aspect of fountain pens which is nib tuning. Yes, you are right. This video is going to be completely about nib tuning. So if you are a fountain pen enthusiast or a fountain pen hobbyist, be sure to watch the complete video and not miss out on a single process of this nib tuning video. So in this video, we will be speaking about nib tuning, what is it exactly, why is it required and what is the process of tuning your fountain pen nib. We will be breaking down the complete process for you to understand better. Another thing, we are completely glad to announce that this nib tuning session of fountain pens is going to be taken by a renowned and a prominent fountain pen enthusiast from the Indian pen community. Yes. Mr. Yusuf Mansoor Sir, a renowned and a prominent fountain pen enthusiast who has tuned over 100,000 plus fountain pen nibs is going to be teaching us about the process of nib tuning. He has an amazing and an impeccable experience with respect to fountain pens. So he is here to share us with his knowledge and understanding about fountain pens for us to understand better. So what is exactly nib tuning? Till date I couldn't understand what is nib tuning. But then I learned it from Yusuf Sir and understood the complete process of fountain pen nib tuning. In simple words, nib tuning is the process where you make your fountain pen nib smoother to write so that it writes as per what you desire for your fountain pen writing experience. As users, as enthusiasts, we desire certain level of writing experience from the fountain pen. We have some expectations from the fountain pen. Like we want some feedback from the fountain pen, we want our fountain pen to write smoothly, we want our ink flow preference to be somewhere or the other in some specific way. Tuning is that process where we fulfill all our needs and all our desires to make the fountain pen write exactly the way we want it to. Tuning is a process where we smoothen the nib in a way where the nib is going to actually write smoothly on the paper than previously was writing. In tuning, we also adjust the ink flow preference as per what we want. We also adjust the tip of the pen as per what we want it to write like. So tuning is basically adding your own personal touch or many enthusiasts like they call it as adding your own signature onto the fountain pen. Tuning is a process where we fulfill the needs and the desires, the expectations that we want our fountain pen to write like. Tuning completely depends upon person to person. Therefore, it is essential to understand whether your fountain pen nib requires tuning or not. Essentially, to understand, we need to know whether you are satisfied with your fountain pen writing experience or not. If you are not satisfied, maybe you might be finding some problems to be there with the nib. Therefore, you want to improve the condition of your nib. Maybe change the adjustment of the tip. Maybe uh, make the ink flow a little more smoother and a little more uh, in, in alignment. Maybe you want to make the nib all over smoother so that it can write on different types of paper. Essentially, you have to understand what is the condition of your fountain pen nib and decide whether you want to tune your fountain pen nib or not. There are various pen masters like nib maestros who actually tune the fountain pen nib at various pen exhibitions, pen events or fountain pen shows. You can tune your fountain pen nib properly the way you want it to with these nib maestros by sending it to them and by telling them the expectation that you are expecting from your nib. Or essentially using the process that we are illustrating in this video, you can tune your own fountain pen nib. Stay tuned till the end of the video so that you can understand the complete process of fountain pen nib tuning. Hello gentlemen, I am here to tell you, or to explain you what is nib tuning and why it's required. Nib tuning is what? Having our own signature on our instrument is basically tuning. Sometimes it's really required and sometimes we presume that our system or our instrument requires that extra touch. Uh, tuning is basically requires your patience, requires your uh, simple thought procedure. You cannot think something extraordinary to start. In the first place, why you require tuning? If you start thinking simple, then very likely you can resolve your problem, so it won't require tuning. Actually, what happens? Uh, a startup itself is a procedure. So, I will start 
why a startup procedure is required to avoid tuning. Say for example, your resume went out of the box, I we fill with say certain kind of with inks which is not compatible with the system, fountain pen system. In that case, we'll have problem all sorts of it's flow problem, skipping, whatever. So in this case, I would like you guys to, to remember there are certain dyes which are naturally very, very dry and aggressive. Say for example, any shades of teal and turquoise, any shades of magenta, which is pinkish to whatever shades it gets into. The primary color is magenta, which is aggressive. And the third color is which, which color sunset yellow. This is the third ink dyes which are dry in nature. So we have to avoid these three inks or shades of it completely to test or first time inking our pen. And then lists. We are inking our pen with blue ink or black ink, regular inks and still we are having problem. Then the problem could be of three form basically. Could be a mechanical, could be physical or physics involving physics that is the surface tension and third is the chemical which is the ink. So first thing if your system is not working as per your need or requirement change ink and test with another ink. Number two if flow is not getting to the tip this could be very likely problem of surface tension. Surface tension which does not allow fluid to flow. So, in that case, the best way is to wash, wash your system. Otherwise also, it's a good habit, before you start up, you begin with the washing of the new instrument and then inking for the first time. And the third one and the last one is mechanical. Means there could be a problem in the channel of the feet, there could be tightening of the tines or could be baby's bottom in your nip tip. Here the most important aspect is tempering with tipping is the last resort. We cannot jump and start doing stuff on nip tipping. So gradually we need to eliminate all this stuff and still if we left with the problem, in that case the tuning is required. As I said, in tuning is nothing but having our own signature on our writing instrument, the way it writes. And to achieve that, there could be several issues related to that. The most important is, okay, I don't want scratchiness in our pen. But then scratchiness itself is very subjective. A scratchiness for you may be a sweet spot for me. I might like my, 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 my instrument to make music or sounds we call it feedback. Second aspect, the amount of ink is injecting. That is the flow. It's drier side or it's in the wetter side. And the third is the angle of flow. Yeah, the way you wishes to hold your pen and you are not getting the desired thing. Then you need to slightly play with your system, your nib unit and to get the desired writing uh, variation in your instrument. That is basically tuning. But in this case, when we say tuning, if you are doing it yourself, you know how you are going to proceed if you know the process. But in case if you are hiring someone's services, but in that case, they may serve as supposed to ask you for your writing, the way you hold your pen, the way you write means a small clip of your writing. In case if a nib mister does not ask for your writing instrument, that very clearly means he is not tuning your pen, rather he is tempering as per your desire. You wanted more flow, he is doing, giving you more flow. You wanted less flow, maybe he is giving you less flow. Or if it's a scratchiness, he would, may, might just remove his scratchiness. But then that is not tuning. Tuning has to be associated with the way you want to perform your pen and that requires your writing style. 
okay to begin how to remove the scratchiness that is the most usual and very common issues related to nifty mail one thing here i would like all of you to remember that the tipping material is very hard material whose hardness starts around 7.5 on mohe scale so anything which generally we encounter are lesser less harder than the tipping itself but then the tipping is not creating problem but the abrasion in the tipping generally creates such scratchiness and those are such minute abrasion that that could be reduced or removed with a very softer material means softer than the tipping materials so for that you are the best judge you are having an instrument which is giving you scratchiness or feedback more than the desired level in that case what you do you start with the softest material available to play with or to play on and that material is nothing but the hard board hard board hard board yeah this is the softest material but good enough to remove abrasion from your nib tipping so in that case what you do when you are writing you know which direction you are getting the scratchiness say for example i am moving the upward move and i am getting the scratchiness in that case what you do in the same direction reverse direction not same direction i'm sorry in the reverse direction you do like i am doing this way and i am getting scratchiness in that case i have to play my nail in the opposite direction unidirectional means i cannot go on rubbing up and down rather i'll just keep one direction one direction opposite to the scratchiness say if it's giving me scratchiness towards my left hand in that case what i will do i will play on the right side continuously on one direction and the best practice is after doing three or four times or maximum five times i check my nib scratchiness on paper okay i'm sorry i'm not carrying paper but that is the way you have to do it do it five times check do it five times now this is the minor test of the scratchiness now if you still find you are having scratchiness you still encounter scratchiness after using the cardboard then you move to slightly harder material that is the normal laminates hard enough but not hard enough to tamper your tipping so we will do the same thing repeat on a harder material than the cardboard same way similarly if it doesn't work then what i will do i will use a steel brushed steel block in this case steel's hardness is maximum 5.5 and if it's alloyed then its hardness is 6.5 maximum and the tipping hardness is more than 7 so what you do you do the same thing or this direction or scratching is up and downward if it's in downward you do it upward but you repeat the same thing it's still not working then here is the catch point we have to find something harder than the tipping material and here comes handy these emery papers which is basically Uh, silicon carbides they are very hard materials though it's in papers but the dust it is using is silicon carbide whose hardness starts around 8.5 and goes up to 9.5 so but here the catch point is you have to be very careful not to grind this pen because these things uh, potentially can grind your tipping which is tampering with the nib tipping so same thing we are going to do it with a very light hand very light hand very light hand opposite to the direction of the scratches okay and then checking on paper okay getting it smoother okay ah very smooth butter is smooth so this is the way you resolve your scratchiness issue second thing aspect i would say rather is the flow flow is what providing channels if you provide smaller channels 
it will write to it. If you increase the channel length, it will reduce the flow. So there are two ways basically to control your ink flow. One is if you are able to remove feed and nib, then you remove it. Increase the distance between feed top to the tipping top. Say for example, if it's 2 mm, you make it 2.5 mm. This way what you are doing, you are reducing the channel length. So when the channel length is reduced, the flow will also reduce and you will write drier. Similarly, or otherwise, other way around, if you remove from 2 to 1.5, you will increase the channel length that will eventually increase the flow and you will write better. If it doesn't work, then you have a choice that this means the, the channel, we have not opened the feed. So I'm only considering the nip part. This means the tine is very tight or the ink flow ink flow through tipping is not adequate. So what do you do? You basically loosen the channel. For that what do you do? You put your finger on any hard surface and the nib like this, put on the breather hole finger and spring it. One, two, three, four, five. That's it. Check on the paper. It's working? No. Okay. Repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Check. Hopefully it will work. Conversely, if the flow is more, then that requires basically tightening of the tines. In that case, you have to place your pen opposite and then you do the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, test. Got the desired result? Fine. No, repeat. One, two, three, four, five. So it will resolve your flow also. Now, the best thing is to remember you have no option of getting impatient. So, in no circumstances, you are supposed to lose your cool, number one. Number two, most of the time, or almost all of the time, problem lies in a small thing. If you remember this, you perhaps won't require tuning, and you can resolve just by washing, just by set, choosing right kind of fluid, you can carry on with your writing procedure as per your own likings. Thank you for hearing me. I hope that you liked this video and found it to be informative. Stay tuned for more such content so that we will be explaining you about more such informative parts about fountain pens. Speaking about the nib tuning kit, this nib tuning kit has different types of sheets which are of different types of thickness. So depending upon the condition of your fountain pen nib, you can use the sheet that you want to to tune your nib exactly the way you want it to be. It has different types of sheets like 1K, 3K, 5K which can be used for tuning your fountain pen exactly the way you want as it was illustrated in this video by Yusuf Sir. Now you can buy this fountain pen nib tuning kit uh, below with the description details which are given in the description box of this video. I would be also sharing a poster in this video where you can understand about the nib tuning kit, what are the equipments that are going to be provided and how can you purchase that nib tuning kit. Essentially, this nib tuning kit was provided in the India Pen Show 2020 where fountain pen enthusiasts who attended the nib tuning workshop wanted some kind of kit so that they had all the necessary equipments to tune their fountain pen. Now this nib tuning kit is also available for people like you who want to tune their fountain pen nib. I would personally recommend all you fountain pen enthusiasts to buy this fountain pen nib tuning kit as it's a once in a lifetime investment of all the equipments that you need for tuning your fountain pen. Now for more information check out the description box and purchase your own fountain pen nib tuning kit. If you have more, more questions, doubts or maybe you didn't understand a specific part of the process, you can comment down below right in the comments of this video and we will be sure to answer all your queries, doubts or questions so that you can understand the complete nib tuning process. For additional information, please do check out my Instagram page at fountainpenguy underscore for more information on fountain pen tuning and various other processes. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Share it with your family and friends and fellow fountain pen enthusiasts. This is Fountain Pen Guy signing off and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you.